right. We do, are we doing this one? We're doing, we're doing this one. <laughs> Whisker reviews. This is Tim. This is Art. And we're back for another episode. This is great. This is great. It's going great. <laughs> Not prepared. <laughs> All right. So, so, what do we have? You have it. It's yours. I don't know what it is. We have some Larceny A121 Barrel Proof Bourbon. And this is a uh, January what? First quarter release, I think it is, A121. Pour too much out. So. I shared too much. We hunt for this, we like it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, some good stuff. Not prepared to do a review on this. Full disclosure. Didn't know I was doing a glass review on this. Full disclosure. This is what happens when two guys sit down at a table with glasses. And people pour for them. And people pour. Things like this happen. Anyways, um, yeah. Off the top of my head. If you're trying to get a nose, don't use this. No, really? Or nose it first and then go to that. Yeah, you just did that. Now, now try to smell it and see what happens. Oh, it's a lot fainter. Nothing. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bounces around the world. It's gone. Gotcha. Good to know. Oh, so for those that don't know, and uh, I'm sure quite a people that are watching this do know, uh, Larceny comes out barrel proof three times a year. So you have A, B, and C. Uh, this year's release, A121. So the second batch will be, means with a five, I think. So it'd be like B521 was what's gonna be coming out. And then you have C921, based on last year being C920. Kind of nerding out there, but. C920 was dope. C920 was really good for the uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof. So you stumble through that and find it somewhere that it hasn't already been gobbled up, it's gotta be in the middle of nowhere where people just don't have the internet. Right. Buy it. Yep. So we're huge fans of this. <clears throat> but um, but yeah, so this Larson Barrel Proof, it's 114.8. And uh, I have to like put my face in this glass. To get the smell. When you do that, you get the smell. So this stuff, it smells so good. Like up front, just there's caramel, but you get that little bit of corn smell. Yep. So it's like you open that Christmas tin of caramel popcorn right in your face. It's really good. That's Love the nose. Tin. It even looks like a tin. It's very open. Hard to top. Can you find anything else besides the caramel popcorn now that I got that in the ring? What else is in there? Whiskey. Whiskey. Old water. Old water. <laughs> Magic brown water that made people happy. That's a fact. It's been a hard week. It has been. A little vanilla in there. There's some vanilla. It's real light and sweet. Oh, it's definitely sweet. Very sweet on the nose, just in general. Pretty tasty. Jamie, what are you smelling in there? I'm with you, just that caramel popcorn. Yeah, once you, once you say that, you can't get rid of it. Yeah, you ruined it. Or you just could, I don't know. It's just caramel popcorn. Wheat. I went straight in for the day, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> wheat in here. Now I think wheat on the palate. Good job. I really believe in this. You can say, like... I don't know which one to start with. I'm gonna do this one, because... So, the knee glass is supposed to... If, if you, uh... If you add water to whiskey, it opens up a little bit, right? Yep. So, the knee glass will open it up without the need for water, right? So it gives you, because of the presence, because of what the, the rim shape, how it presents it to your palate, it allows it to flow open and kind of aerate, if you will, on the way in. It's also supposed to knock down all that ethanol <clears throat> burn on the nose. So give it a swirl, give it a smell. That's better. Yeah. Should have swirled it first. Yeah. <laughs> Knocks down some of the I get some burnt brown sugar. Lots of corn in this. Yeah, there's corn in there. Oh, that's why. 114 fruit. Yep. Yeah, starting, starting swinging. It's cool. The finish kind of tarts out a little bit. Right? Yeah, it gets a little bitter, a little, almost. Yeah. In the back of the tongue. Yep, yep. A little tarty. I get like that, uh, almost like a sweet tart vibe. It's 
real sweet, and then you get that little. What's little, weird? Little bitter bite, man. Is when I try to when I taste it and I'm breathing in a little bit as I'm drinking this. It's like uh, almost like I have like when you first put a piece of really dark bittersweet chocolate in your mouth, and you get that like dark, almost roasted. Yep. Cocoa flavor. Yep. I get that, but it doesn't follow through on the taste at all. It's just like yeah, the effect as it comes in the mouth. Yeah. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Please uh, cut that out. <laughs> As it unfolds in the palate, I don't think I'm, I'm trying. No, nope. it, it's all good. I'm just try it compared to the wine. It's really good. The most awkward. How did, Jimmy, we got notes on this. No. Can you Can find we notes, have on notes on this? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie pops and walks away. <laughs> How like nutty? Nutty? Uh, yeah, like peanut no. butter. I, oh. You know what? Is there a peanut in there? I don't Way more bold. Way bigger punch. Out of this than this. If you have somebody that has never had whiskey before, right? And you're trying to nurse them in. This is a great class to start with. It tastes good. all of the 114 in this. All, all the 114. All right. Like a nice smooth 92 proof. Really. And you know what? That's probably been opening up a lot because I, I I just realized when I poured this, it was it's way more violent, not violent, but it's way more harsh on the nose now. Like get him a knee. Do we have another one? Can we get him another one? A knee. Get him a knee. You're gonna get silly off one bottle. It's gonna be fun. So no, on the on the on the table. Right. Look on the table. Oh, you only brought one. I have brought one, but luckily, we never has another one. Yes. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Watch this. Oh, that's you should have just. It's okay. I just poured it. It's okay. But now it's sorry. It's it's aired out twice. Oh, what well, I'm saying. It's different on the nose. Uh huh. Oh, I'm getting like a. Is that a? Super concentrated. After this, it's almost like I, I I walked into it and I don't really know which way to go. It it really does change it. It does. And it's it like changes a, it a lot. I'm getting like a. A sugarier, the caramel notes have fallen off. More vanilla. More vanilla. That real light sweetness. Mm -hmm. It does open it up. It lets it. It lets everything come out that would otherwise be contained by just. It's almost. I don't, roses, maybe. Is it, is, you know, I want to say red, but I'm like, this is not raspberry. There is some red to it. There's some red in there. Yeah. There's like a. And that smell in this, I didn't smell in that. Yeah, it's crazy. That's why it's fine. And I, red fruit? Cherry and pomegranate. <sighs> See? Um, there's something red. That, is that, that could be where that dry is coming from. Okay, I can pomegranate stretch it. You gotta like shove your nose in that glass. Yeah, pomegranate it. stretching, but the cherry, yeah, I smell the cherry. You know that cancer causing air freshener in my car? <laughs> That, that one? Yeah, so there's faint, that. there's faint hits of that. that well, that could just be residual from your nasal cavity. That could be it. No. It's yeah. been a little bit. Okay, yeah, cherry. I see the cherry. In this one, I get, now that you say that, in this one, I can smell the cherry. Yeah. All right. This has been an in-depth review of what's In this terrible. one, I can almost smell the, I'm not gonna say, I'd be, that'd be bullshit. Someone would have to call it. I'd lose in that card game. Anyway, what else you got? Plus the second. What can we hunt for? Blueberry, leather, leather. Yeah, leathers. Leather's always harder. Leather is just the blueberry, though. That's. I feel like I I'm... can't find blueberry in cereal sometimes. So like, <laughs> blueberry. You gotta get your Captain Crunch berries, man. That's not blueberry. <laughs> yeah. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's something, but that's not blueberry. I don't even know if that's a fruit. <laughs> that was invented by a chemist somewhere, 
and they nailed it. They just didn't know what they nailed. <laughs> you know, if I keep saying blueberry, 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 as I drink it, I think I get it, but I think I'm just brainwashing myself. Blueberry, blueberry, well, blueberry, blueberry. Blueberry's not on the palate, that's just on the nose. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't give you guys all I'm the like, answers. Can you read There's it? No way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like four so, more. let's move on to palate. We've got dark. That was just... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Dark, dark, dark fruit. Dark got fruit. It. Yep, got that. Yep. Toasted coconut. That is not one I've heard you guys say yet. Toasted coconut. Mm -hmm. On the palate? Yeah. For this barrel? Yeah. All right. Nope. Here's a long shot for you guys. Light fennel. This does not taste like grandma's meatloaf. <laughs> okay. That I can find. Yeah. Think sweet Italian sausage, that spice that's in there on the back on sweet Italian sausage, some I put in there. Sometimes uh, confused with anise, 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 very similar in flavor. So that fennel flavor is almost licorice -y. I'm reaching real hard to get that. Anise. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be like middle back of your tongue, for me at least it is. I would not have pulled that out organically. Not a shot. No. No way. I don't think about cooking spices as much as I probably should while tasting this. Man, how many ounces of this have we had? You guys started before me. Again. <laughs> we need to show a before and after of the bottle when we started. Now, just saying. You might be able to do that. Like, calm down. But, uh, okay. All right, so let's move on to that finish. So, it lingers. Black tea. Okay. Yeah. That, that's Bitter. Yeah. Yep. 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 Black pepper. A little bit of a spice. Yeah. yeah it is dark. <clears throat> kind of unassuming. Black tea is, yeah. is there. As always, oak and leather. Oak, oak and leather. I get the tea. I didn't. I didn't see it. I wouldn't and have now, called it. But it's. But there. if you say it, it's there. But the, what was the one between the pepper? There's a little black pepper. pepper. The pepper kind of gets hard to tell because when you start talking proof, you get that bite from the proof. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes that can be confused as pepper. Mm -hmm. And also rice spice does the same thing. People are like rice spice and black pepper. I'm like, how do you tell the difference? Mm -hmm. Because they're they're right there with each pepper other. Pepper kind of accents that rice spice, right? So I agree. Here's one I didn't mention on the palate, cocoa powder. Ah, there it is. There you go. <laughs> it's like that dark chocolate. That makes sense. That's good. All right. It's really, it's really hard to compare the glasses though. It is. They're so drastically different. People have done glass glass lineups for the Glen, the Neat, a Rocks glass. Uh, I think so. There have been several in the Norlin. There's that other bowl one that looks like a weird open base light bulb. Yep. Edison bulb thing. Yep. With a really short. What is that one? I think lip. It's that. like a combination of this and this. It's it's weird with a short lip. Yep. Um, but anyway, that was good. I like it. Larson, try them. It's fun. One of our favorites. Definitely you, fun. This. If you can find it, right? I feel like more and more people nowadays are looking for this because it's a seasonal release three times a year. If you see it, grab a bottle, try it out. Let us know what you think. Larson, black label. Barrel proof. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Slays of Whisker Reviews. Catch you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite glass is. What he said. <laughs> <laughs>